and let us pray. Heavenly Father, on this our Advent journey, we ask you to open our eyes that we may see you in our world. Open our ears that we may hear your word. And open our hearts that we may love like you. Strengthen us to follow your examples and teachings. And we ask this through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. I am the Lord, there is no other. I form the light and create the darkness. I make well-being and create woe. I, the Lord, do all these things. Let justice descend, O heavens, like dew from above. Like gentle rain, let the skies drop it down. Let the earth open, and salvation bud forth. Let justice also spring up. I, the Lord, have created this. For thus says the Lord, the creator of the heavens, who is God, the designer and maker of the earth who established it, not creating it to be a waste, but designing it to be lived in. I am the Lord, and there is no other. Who announced this from the beginning and foretold it from of old? Was it not I, the Lord, besides whom there is no other God? There is no just and saving God but me. Turn to me and be safe, all you ends of the earth, for I am God, there is no other. By myself I swear, uttering my just decree, and my unalterable word, to me every knee shall bend, by me every tongue shall swear, saying, only in the Lord are just deeds and power. Before him in shame shall come all who vent their anger against him. In the Lord there shall be vindication and the glory of all the descendants of Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Our gospel for today is taken from chapter 7 of Luke's gospel. John the Baptist summoned two of his disciples and sent them to the Lord to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or should we look for another? When the men came to Jesus, they said, John the Baptist has sent us to ask you, Are you the one who is to come, or should we look for another? At that time, Jesus cured many of their diseases, sufferings, and evil spirits. He also granted sight to many who were blind. And Jesus said to John the Baptist's disciples in reply, Go and tell John what you have seen and what you have heard. The blind regain their sight. The lame walk, lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the poor have the good news proclaimed to them. And blessed is the one who takes no offense to me. The Gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Open my eyes, Lord. Help me to see your face. Open my eyes, Lord. Help me to see. That song, Open My Eyes, is one I sing to myself many times before I reflect on the readings of the day. And today's readings really point us on our Advent journey to looking for Jesus, to looking for our God in our everyday world. In our first reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah, we hear that God is the creator of all things, and his love and his mercy and justice rain down on us. And he has touched everything and given it to us as gift, as part of our human nature. Well, as I reflected on that first reading today, my reflection pointed me to looking for God in one of the most common places in our world, in nature. To, to see things in nature, we as people, we as disciples of Christ Jesus, need to slow down. We need to take time to view what is going on in the world around us, rather than focusing on our jobs and our family and our community. One of the beautiful things my wife has shared with me over the years is her love for feeding birds and watching the backyard birds. And one of my favorites is the little chickadee, the black-capped chickadee. It is a very high energy, very social, very happy-go-lucky bird who does a great deal of foraging, you know, all through the cold winter months. It's here in the summer also, but it finds nourishment at all times. And if you really look at the markings and how these little birds are put together, you can see how the hand of God has touched even, even these smallest of birds that we can see if we take the time. A chickadee only weighs about four-tenths of an ounce. And to save energy, because they're such a small bird, they lower their body temperatures at night to conserve energy. One of the messages there for us is if we want to get closer and closer to our God, we need to slow down and lower our energy level to take time to pray, to reflect, and draw ourselves closer to God. On my walk today with my wife Mary and our dog Max, we saw lots of geese flying in formation, probably a total of almost 200 in different groups. 
And the interesting thing about geese is they might know exactly when to migrate, when it's time to leave, so that they can find the food they need to sustain themselves. I looked up and found out that some geese travel somewhere between two and 3,000 miles on their migration. And they can fly, if necessary, up to almost 1,000 miles a day. And the way they can do this is they fly in that famous V formation. And reflecting on that, that bird in the lead takes on most of the energy for the group, and they rotate that. But just think how much easier our lives would be as we go through life if we put God in the front of that flock. If we let God be the lead point of our life, how much energy we would conserve by living out his teachings instead of worrying about the ways of the world. One final way that's that's come up, the things I've said, shared so far are kind of everyday things, but there is something going on in the evening skies from now until the end of December that has not happened since the early 1600s. The planets of Jupiter and Saturn are coming closer to closer together. And what they are forming is what has become known as the Christmas star. The alignment of these two planets coming close together give off what we portray and see as the Christmas star that the wise men followed and we see in many of our nativity sets. This Christmas star gives us time to reflect on what the wise men followed, the importance of reading the signs of the times. And you can view this star every evening after sunset if you go and look towards the southwest. And the closest, the planets will be the closest on December 21st, very close to Christmas. Different ways to take time and slow down and look at nature, and as a result of looking at nature, coming closer and closer to God. Our gospel today is one where we hear in Luke, from Luke that John the Baptist is wondering, is Jesus the Messiah? John wants to be clear on what he is seeing because I think John's initial thoughts were that the Messiah was going to be this military leader, this strong political person who is going to bring Israel up and take on the Roman Empire and change the status of the, the country of Israel and its people to a higher economic and military power. And Jesus says, Tell John, the blind see, the deaf hear, the poor have the good news brought to them. See, it wasn't in the powerful. It wasn't in the powerful economic or political status that Jesus came. He came to serve the poor, the outcast, the lonely, the sick, the refugees and the immigrants. And the way I think we can find God in our world today is by taking the example of Jesus and ministering to those in need with our time, with our treasure, and with our talents. See, not only I think are we called to see and look for God, but we have to open our hearts to love like him also. Jesus didn't come to be admired. He came to be followed. He wants us to follow his examples. So as we continue on our Advent journey, let us look for God in the simple things of life, in nature, in the poor, in the lonely, in the outcast. Not in the powerful, not in the rat race, but in the coming of God in the quiet of our lives.
Let us bow our heads and pray for God's blessing. Heavenly Father, you created the universe and the world we live in. You brought light into darkness and life into our world. Strengthen us on our Advent journey and draw us closer and closer to you that we may be the presence of that love and mercy in our world. And we ask this through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless us all the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go forth and follow the teachings of Christ Jesus by serving others. Have a blessed day.